ABC 15, a local small business owner scrambling right now after someone steals their generator for their mobile coffee shop. And this is just days before a massive event. Christine Stanwood is in Phoenix with that story. You know, rituals save people li people's lives and coffee is a ritual and that's important to any community. And for 23 year old Catherine Zing, her community was built on wheels. Anybody can come and be, be a part of the bus. Mm -hmm. Meet the all female team behind the small business coffee bus. Hakiri was a concept that was created between my friends and I. Cat serves it and then I'm like, wait, how's that sip? <laughs> yes, it's good, you know. The bus revolves around Zing's identity. A coffee space that centered my indigenous language. Um, I'm Ho-Chunk and I'm in the process of learning again that language. In order to make specialty brews, the bus relies on a lot of power from a generator and that $2,700. Yeah. Costs a pretty penny. Zing buying one last month before a big pop up event. But then she came home to discover. Did I misplace the massive generator that weighs 200 pounds? And because I didn't want to believe that it was stolen. A thief taking off with her newest piece of equipment. They were able to push it up and through my sidewalk and just walk away with it. Phoenix police say no arrests have been made, but they are investigating. It's not a good feeling to know that someone could be watching you and your things that you're just trying to live off of. So after that first generator was stolen, someone in the community stepped up offering to loan money for a new generator. One of Kat's role models. Also an indigenous entrepreneur in downtown Phoenix. Melody Lewis of Cahokia Phoenix immediately helped. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go to you know the nearest store and buy you your generator. Give me the money when you have it. No questions asked. Zing continues to work seven days a week to repay nearly $3,000 back. No days off. <laughs> joined by her side hustle team. Small business ownership. Um, I'm proud of what I'm doing with coffee, but I'm more proud of the friends that I'm making. Reporting in Phoenix, Christine Stanwood, ABC 15, Arizona.